would you be interested in having a Fitbit with tiny wires implanted into your skull? No? How about a computer chip stuck in your brain that would let you control a computer or mobile device anywhere you go? If you're not sold yet, what if we put it this way? Would you be interested in technology that could potentially restore depleted motor and sensory function as a result of a spinal cord injury? Or how about a technology that could possibly help people with paralysis regain independence through the control of computers, prosthetics, and mobile devices? These are real issues and are some of the questions that Elon Musk's most abstract company Neuralink is looking to answer. Make sure you watch until the end of the video because today we'll be delving into the history, evolution, and purpose of Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain computer company based in Fremont, California. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you like our content and want to see more. Now, let's get right into today's video. Neuralink, co-founded by Elon Musk, Max Hodak, and others in 2016, and is a neurotechnology company developing an implantable brain computer chip, they call it Link, to treat various ailments and for human AI enhancement. Link is a sealed, implanted device that processes, stimulates, and transmits neural signals from neural threads. These micron scale threads, less than one quarter the diameter of a human hair, reach out from the link and are inserted into areas of the brain that control movement. Each thread contains many electrodes and communicates information to and from the link. Musk claims that he started Neuralink to address the AI symbiosis problem which is a fear that artificial intelligence could ultimately one day take over or eliminate the human race. His response? Let's make some brain chips that are capable of linking artificial intelligence to people's brains. Neuralink executives and Musk gave their first public presentation of Neuralink in 2019, showcasing the technology of the prototype they had been working on. Essentially, it's a system that involves the implanting of a chip called the link with flexible wires into the brain with a high-density electronic system capable of processing information from neurons. Due to the precise nature of the wire placement, a surgical robot will perform the implantation. The brain chip with wires will be placed in the important parts of the brain where they will be able to connect with neurons and detect messages as they are relayed between neurons recording each impulse and stimulating their messages. Neuralink says that the chips will be able to collect information from thousands of brain cells to easily interpret and relay messages. The chips will connect wirelessly to a wearable device that hooks over the user's ear, much like a hearing aid and contains a Bluetooth radio and a battery. And this can all be done in less than an hour without the need for general anesthetic. Although human trials have not yet started to demonstrate the functionality of the Neuralink system and how it works, the company planted the chip inside a pig's brain in 2020. Musk presented what he described as the three pig demo in August 2020. He explained that the company had three pigs, one without an implant, one that had an implant that had been successfully removed, and a third pig named Gertrude that had a chip implanted for two months. Gertrude, of course, was the center of attention. Although it took some coaxing by Musk for the Gertrude to appear on camera when she ate and sniffed straw, the activity showed up on a graph tracking her neural activity. The processor from the computer chips in her brain was sending wireless signals, indicating neural activity in her snout when looking for food. During the demonstration, the pig mostly ignored everything going on around her. Musk described the 0.9-inch Neuralink chip as a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires during the presentation. 
What the pig experiment illustrates is that the Neuralink chip can be safely implanted and removed. It also illustrates that one can have the implantation and still be healthy, happy, and largely indistinguishable from other people. To better demonstrate the operation of the Neuralink chip, the company recently showcased a more sophisticated experiment with a monkey in April 2021. The three-minute video of a macaque monkey playing Pong with his mind shows that Neuralink is making big strides in its brain-machine interface development. The video of the nine-year-old male macaque named Pager showed that it had two Neuralink chips implanted in his brain six weeks before the experiment. The chip was implanted in an area called motor cortex, which coordinates arm and hand movement. As shown in the video, the monkey first learned how to use a joystick to move a cursor to targets on a screen. Whenever he successfully moved the cursor, he was given a treat of a banana smoothie delivered through a straw. The Neuralink chip processor recorded Pager's neuron activity while he interacted with the computer. This data was then fed into a decoder to predict Pager's hand and arm movements in real time. After some time, the joystick is unplugged from the machine and the monkey was able to control the game by moving the cursor to wherever he wanted using his mind. This was possible because of the brain signals relayed by the Neuralink chip. This experiment is a key step in Neuralink's quest to merge human consciousness with artificial intelligence. Another goal of this technology is to give people with paralysis their digital freedom back. The brain-computer interface technology will help people with quadriplegia who have brain or spinal injuries to control their phones or computers just by thinking and eventually perhaps the ability to control robotic prosthetics in the future. The company also aims to use brain-computer chips to potentially help cure blindness, mental health conditions, and neurological conditions such as dementia, spinal cord injuries, and Alzheimer's. Musk revealed in a recent tweet that future versions of the Neuralink device will be able to divert signals from the Neuralink chips in the brain to Neuralink chips in body motor or sensory neuron clusters thus enabling people with paraplegia to walk again. Musk also claims that in the long term, Neuralink technology will allow humans to send memories or information to one another using telepathy and exist in a safe state so that after they die, the information could even be put into another human or robot. Although he acknowledged that he was delving into sci-fi territory, it is interesting to consider the possibilities of this technology in the near future. What do you think about Neuralink technology and its potential future applications? Let's hear your views in the comment section. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.